Good day and welcome to the South African Weather Service YouTube channel called Get Weather Smart. My name is Mbabi Maliage and I'll be co-hosting this informative YouTube channel on behalf of the South African Weather Service. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Mudika and I will be joining Mbabi. In today's episode, we will be informing you on the new and better way the South African Weather Service will be issuing severe weather warnings called impact-based warnings. Yes, this is a world-leading early warning system in which warnings will no longer be based on a threshold such as 50 millimeters of rainfall over a 24-hour period, but rather on the potential impact that the system will have on society. This will be done by combining the impact that a weather system will have and the likelihood of those impacts actually occurring. This alert will then be presented in a severe weather warning matrix, which we will show you later in the video. Now let's look at an example of how impact-based warnings will work. Let's say today is Monday and we are expecting a cutoff low to develop in the Western Cape in three days' time. This cutoff low is expected to bring significant amount of rain that could lead to localized flooding over most of the province, but even widespread flooding in specific areas on Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. A yellow warning is then sent out by the South African Weather Service to the appropriate recipients, which is disaster management, media, and the general public, in indicating that there is a risk of significant impact from this cut of flow, but a low likelihood of the impacts occurring since it's still three days away. So the X will be on the yellow on the matrix, indicating a low likelihood, but significant impact. As we move closer to the day of the event, the forecast is updated accordingly. The forecast on duty reassesses the information and decides the flooding is more likely to occur on Wednesday afternoon during peak hours affecting more people commuting on the road. As a result, the impact will increase from significant to severe due to the change in the timing of the rainfall, but the likelihood will remain the same. The updated warning is then sent out to the relevant stakeholders and disaster management. In this warning, the expected impacts are highlighted, especially for vulnerable areas. Previously, we had advisories which were in yellow, watches which were in orange, and warnings which were in red. With the matrix, it is important to carefully look at the impact and the likelihood relationship rather than the color of the box. For example, if you have a low likelihood of a flooding event but severe impacts, it will make it a yellow warning, but this should not be ignored. Something to always keep in mind is that the timing of the severe weather event can either increase or decrease the impact, like in the flooding example we just used. The weather system did not change, but because it was expected to affect more people closer to the time, the impact increased, thus increasing the entire alert. So it is always important to pay attention to the relationship between the likelihood and the impact of each alert. We hope that you are excited as we are about a new development of impact-based warnings. For more information, please follow us on our Facebook page, the South African Weather Service, or on Twitter at SA Weather Service, or go onto our website at www.weathersa.co.za. That's a wrap from me too. Till our next Weather Smart episode, goodbye.